Hi, my name is Aska Mazhar Khan and I'm 17 years old. My story is about my love for science and technology and how it developed at a very young age. I have seen technology grow up with me. My father is a road contractor and I remember visiting the construction sites with him. From the magical metallic excavators and the laborers working on the sites arose a huge skyscraper's vivid image into my mind. The blades cutting through the grass and soil sparked my curiosity and made me think, where was the energy coming from? I remember going back home, I used to ask so many questions from my dad, Ke, Baba, ye kaise ho rahe? Or, Baba, ye kaise ho rahe? Baba, how is this working? And he used to, sometimes used to laugh, other times he used to say, and I still remember the day when he taught me how to spell the word excavator and I was so excited that I learned something new today and those were experiences filled with joy and laughter. I remember somewhere along the way my love for science and technology developed into something more. I started doing activities and um, projects related to STEM. I remember participating in an online workshop on the James Webb Space Telescope and I met NASA scholar ambassador and director Sir um, John Sylvan and I asked him so many questions about the James Webb Space Telescope when is it going to be launched and when is it going to drop and release pictures from the space and it was something which just sparked my curiosity and kind of all those activities developed more interest in me for science and technology. At that time, little did I know that in a matter of few months, I would be at NASA and be talking to and meeting all those astronauts and scientists working at the NASA uh, Goddard Space Flight Center. It was a very usual day at my school. I, I met my counselor and she said that there's this program called Tech Girls. Why don't you go ahead and apply? I was like, okay, and she was like, maybe you're lucky enough and you get in. I went home, I, I didn't tell anyone that I'm applying to this program and started working on my essays and um, did better activities, which could kind of make my application um, a stronger one. And in a matter of few days, everyone got to know, okay, okay, we're applying. And then my dad used to encourage me. A few months later, the decision came in and I got in. I got selected for Tech Girls, which was a three-week exchange program in the United States. I went to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and met astronauts and mechanical engineers who were assembling the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which is expected to launch in 2027. I talked to them and what were necessary equipment that the astronauts use and all the questions that I have had in my mind throughout those years. It was a wonderful experience. I'm never forgetting that experience in my whole life. And I also worked in the labs at Virginia Tech and used equipment that a high schooler could only dream of using. It was something that I had always dreamt my whole life. I also got a chance to meet uh, Secretary of State John Bilkin in the US Department of State and House of Senate in Washington, DC, where we talked about women representation in STEM fields and why is it necessary in today's world. I am so grateful that I got this chance to represent my country, Pakistan, at such a huge platform. To any boy or any girl out there who's, who's being told that your dreams are too big, it might take you a little longer, the journey might be a little tougher, but you will get there one day. And when you do, it's going to be worth it because it will be your journey. Just keep working, keep getting better at what you're doing, keep learning, and I'm sure you will get there. And Baba, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know that you're my greatest strength. Thank you for teaching me how to see dreams and how to turn them into a reality and how to search for, for the extraordinary in the ordinary. Thank you, Mama, for always telling me that, yes, Aska, you can do this. Hoppo, Dadi and Chachu for always encouraging me. My family is my greatest strength and I hope that someday I do great things and I make all of you proud. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you.